for later. I think here is where I fight the boss. I think, right? Well, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got the park key. So I got the park key. Which means when I get the park key, I got to open that door and whatever I get out of there, I come back. Whatever I get out of that park, I come back and that's when it'll, it'll initiate in that graveyard area. I think. I'm not 100% sure. But let me save so I don't have to do all that that I just did all over again. I know I have to get some kind of key item. But if, I don't know which one. Maybe the one... Hmm. Some key item for sure I know what triggers it. But I don't know, I don't know which one. <clears throat> graveyard for sure. Yeah, exactly. It's legit in the graveyard. I'm 100% sure the graveyard is the area that I have to be. Like when I'm coming out of... Like when I'm coming back from the graveyard. Okay, time to restock and re-up. Let's go. Um, I don't have any A's, so I can't make grenade launcher rounds, but I feel, I feel like I'm good. But let me stock up on hills just to be safe. Because I am fighting a penis monster. Fuck it. Wait. I need that many? Let's see. Let's save just to be sure. Yeah, I'm going to pack you too. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm good with this setup. Let's see what happens though. After you get to the door. Mm -hmm. There's a fireplace. I come oh, I did a fireplace thing and all that stuff. And then when I'm coming back from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's like a cabin or something. It's like you take the pipe. You take the pipe and you bash the fireplace thing. You go in a room and it's a couple of... uh. It's a couple of uh, powders in it. Little radio thing. That happens. All that. Stuff and things. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's coming back. It's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. I know in that room is a shit ton of fire. Uh, There's a shit ton of... um. Yeah, just save. It's a shit ton of uh, powders in it, so... I think I might save those. I might hold on to those. I might hold on to them. Funny to say, I haven't even used my shotgun that much. Like that much. Like I still have 50 plus shots of it in, in the bank. In the bank. In the box. <laughs> like if this setup doesn't work. I'm going to put the pistol up and just save ammo for it and just run with the shotgun and grenade launcher for a while. But that's depending on how I do after this boss fight. Because just depending on how I'm doing this boss fight determines what gun I run around with. The shotgun by itself? Oh shit. There's a ladder. When you go up the ladder. <sighs> oh my fuck. I have to do this way. This game is like, no, you are dumb. You press me first. And then you use it. Oh, lighter. It's like saving right here, so it's whatever. Um, I'm gonna grab these four.
Actually, you know, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to Elder Room. Welcome back, dude. I'm going to put the pistol up and save the enhanced ammo rounds. And just run around with the shotgun. Because I have a lot of shotgun rounds. And I have now I have five total B rounds. So, like, well, that's a face play right there. Be able to just run around with the shotgun. Um, I'm gonna save these for now, though. He'll say old school game much, yeah, something like that. Something like that. But uh, happy birthday to you as well, and everybody out there else, everybody else out there. There we go, everybody else out there <laughs> to you as well. Happy birthday. Hopefully you all stuff up real good. I need that. And um, hopefully you'll have a good time. And um, yeah, but I will be streaming today. Well, today technically now, still, because I've been streaming since last night. I mean, wow, I've been live for 14 hours. It don't even feel like it because I'm having fun, dude. There's one thing my one of my favorite streamers always when he one thing he told me not always told me one thing he told me when I first started streaming. Which is when you stream, he said, just make sure whatever game you stream is a game you're actually having fun playing. Like, never play a game that you feel forced to play. And never play Sleepy because it makes for bad content. But above all, just make sure you're playing a game that you enjoy playing. We're playing games that you enjoy playing. And for sure, I'm having fun with this game. Nemesis pisses me off, yeah, but I love this game, dude. Like, I love this game. It's one of those love-hate relationships. I, I hate to admit it. It's a love-hate relationship. A legit love-hate relationship. Play this when just playing. Oh, yeah. that's This is definitely how I play. Like, when I do playthroughs of old games like these, because this is one of many that I will be doing. Like, in the future, I plan on doing Zelda Let's Play. Not Zelda Let's Play. Zelda playthroughs, Mario playthroughs. It's just going to be casual, just playthroughs. Maybe on the hardest difficulty, but a casual playthrough. Just sit back, just have fun, just talk shit, just you know. And if it's documents and stuff, I'll read them. It'd be a dirt, it'd be a dirt while I read them, you know. Oh, the, oh, so you just oh, so you're just done with the ladder then? Sure. Stick that pole in the hole, jail. Stick the pole in the hole, jail. Bust that whole wider gel. Use the pole and bust that whole wider. You got it. Use your app. Mm, there you go. Look how get look how look how much it's gaping. Look at how much it gapes. Look at it. Look at the light coming through that gape. Just look at it. All right, I'm done. But yeah, seriously, this is why I stream commentary games like these. I'm sorry. I already know. I know this is here for the commentary. Uh, you want to try to get to the yeah, I'm gonna finish this in. I'm gonna finish this in. I'm gonna finish this playthrough today Like before I end stream today, I will finish this I'm actually getting close to the end too. Like I'm like what 70% done 75 ish Like it's the boss fight and then it's the factory and then this little bit of the factory stuff and then it's the nemesis and then at the nemesis It's nemesis again kind of Mutated nemesis, and then that's literally it. See, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. That's if my body doesn't be like, fuck you, go to sleep. I mean, I'm starting to feel fatigue, but I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Yeah, she's pretty good in Buster. Oh, yeah. Jill's def Jill definitely knows what she's doing with the pole. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> All right, supervised report. Here we go. The endurance ability of the contained guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when they shot, even when shot in the vital area, in the vital area, I'm, I'm sorry. They can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pigs, the guinea pigs' intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving is dead, wait, even though reviving the dead seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs, prisoners of the war, and release them, they would return to the units and then turn into zombies. 
This plan didn't work well for us in the end. In certain areas, the virus seems to have seems to have caused mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator. Yeah. Oh, they reference Resident Evil 2 in this. Cool. Uh, but I've only encountered a giant creature moving underground. That's a giant that's a giant penis monster. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I would have contaminated it and woo. I wanna contaminate I would have been contaminated it and would have become one of them by now. If it's still walking around the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. Says you. Watch me. Don't believe me, just ooh. Let me get those. What is this? Nothing. What is that? I see. What is that? Ah, this goes to that gate at the other end that I just came from. Now, picking this up and doing this cutscene is what cues up the boss. But it's a save room in here, so I can stock up and get ready for that fight right here. Facts from HQ. Attention! The Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors of the room should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. City will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. A.K.A. Nuke. Yeah, hey, what's up, dude? You good? How are you? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm just playing Resident Evil. Streaming and stuff. You alright? You got anything on you? I'm gonna check you real quick. No? Okay. Good chat. Auto receive. Okay, now I leave and then and then she receives. <clears throat> all supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. But yeah, like I was saying, um I'm gonna do future I'm gonna do future uh playthroughs of uh of a lot of games, like a lot of old retro games, like this is one of them, <clears throat> but not just retro, strictly retro, but just you know, old school games PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega, if I can pull it off, Super Nintendo, if I can pull it off, all are gonna be on my Wii, but like, yeah, just casual, just playthroughs, maybe on the hardest difficulty, I'll give myself a challenge, maybe. You know, if there is no difficulty setting, you know, they sent in a unit to be by I might even do a three heart run when I do my Zelda playthroughs. Maybe, maybe. The on this were extreme, but we'll see. An that the team would be wiped out. But overall, I'm just a casual gamer, dude. Like I've just, I don't do speed runs. I don't do no hit runs. I do casual playthroughs. Just sit back and let's just have fun. Listen to me be a derp stick. All right, so here we go. This is when we fight the dick monster. And for anyone who's curious, somewhere on the screen that you're looking, right there on the screen, in front of you, in your face, in your, in your eyeballs, there is a link to the YouTube. And, uh, Cat, thanks for the follow, brother. Welcome to the V Club. Enjoy your Kool-Aid. Enjoy my fucking Kool-Aid. Um, but yeah, somewhere on the screen, the border somewhere, somewhere up there. There's a link to the YouTube. I have playthroughs already in place. I have some. I don't have too many. I have like a like a handful. If you guys are curious to check them out, let me know what you think of them. What I can improve on, what's what's bad, what's good, what can stay, what can go, all that good stuff. I really I would really appreciate it. If you would like. If not, no pressure. You know. It's totally optional. But, yep. I mix it up, though. Like, I don't only do playthroughs. Like, I'll play games just for the sake of just streaming. You know, just for the sake of just playing. You know, just because streams and stuff like that. Or games like this. I'll take this to YouTube. Because it's a, it's a legit story. Start to finish. You know. 